So Anthropic announced a new 3.5 sounded model and I wanted to see how it compares with Gemini Advanced. To keep the comparison fair, I asked ChatTPT to generate 10 questions that will test LLM's abilities. So I'll use these exact 10 questions to compare Gemini Advanced versus Cloud 3.5 Sonnet. The first question here is a summarization capability test. And here we just have a simple paragraph and the responses here were very similar. I'm going to call this one a tie. The second question is to identify the most likely scenario for she didn't see the step and tripped, spilling the contents of her bag. Cloud gave me some very specific samples here and Gemini gave me a more crisp response, but I kind of like both, so I would give this one a tie as well. The third question is, if all A are B and some C are A, can we conclude that some C are B? So a simple logic test. And here we can already see they both reached the same conclusion that yes, some C are B. What I like about Gemini though is that it gave an example to help illustrate the idea. So I'll give Gemini a star on this one. Now the next question is a translation question. So we want to translate this sentence to Spanish. Cloud just gave me the translation right away and Gemini went on to say that this is a pangram where a sentence is using every letter of the alphabet and it gave me a pangram in Spanish. And this is all true by the way, but it's not really doing what I asked. So I'm going to give this one to Claude. The next question is a Python function that takes a list of numbers and returns the list sorted in ascending order. So it's a very simple programming question. Cloud gave me the two alternatives here that are very efficient. Gemini gave me also the sorted option and the sort option. But Gemini also went on to give me example usage, explain some key considerations like the efficiency and how they work differently. And it also gave me some example here. So I think I'm going to give this one to Gemini. Now in the next question, we need to write a short story about a world where gravity suddenly becomes twice as strong. So this is a creativity and storytelling test. And here they're both coming up with some narratives. They both look cool and creative. So I'll have the first paragraphs be read by AI voices. The ground lurched as if the planet itself had hiccuped. Anna stumbled, barely catching herself on a park bench. A flock of birds, mid-flight, plummeted like stones before regaining their bearings with frantic wing beats. So that was Gemini, now Claude. The day gravity doubled, the world ground to a halt. People woke to find themselves pinned to their beds, struggling to lift limbs that felt leaden. Those who managed to stand stumbled and fell, their bodies unprepared for the crushing weight. Now, if you ask me, that would be a tie, but let's ask our impartial judge here which one would be the best. So I'm asking ChatGPT to rank these two stories based on creativity and storytelling. It's giving us an analysis here of strengths and, and weaknesses, I guess. And it said our option A is better for creativity and B for storytelling, and then ultimately it picked option B. So, okay, I'll give this one to Claude. Now let's move on to the next question, which will be a math problem. So we have an equation here and we need to solve it for X. So here we can see that cloud arrive at one and half as the results. And Gemini arrived at the same answer. I like the formatting better here, but we're testing the models capabilities. So I'll say this one is a tie. The next one is a test of ethical reasoning. So is it ethical to use AI in warfare? Let's look at the answers from these models. So Gemini is giving some arguments for and against as we asked in a prompt. And some additional considerations in the conclusion. And Claude is giving actually some really similar arguments here compared to Gemini. Uh, it looks like the answers are quite similar. So I'll call this one a tie as well. 
Now a very simple factual question, who was the first person to walk on the moon and what year did that happen? They both give the correct answer, Gemini's is a little more crisp, but I'll call this one a tie as well. Alright, the next one is Sandman Analysis. So we have a reveal here, I can't believe how terrible the service was at that restaurant, I'm never going back there again. And they're both doing a detailed breakdown of this uh, review and, and the Sandman is uh, strongly negative according to both of them. Uh, they explain and highlight the strong languages that was used, exclamation marks and so on. It looks like it's a very similar analysis, so I'll also give this one a tie. So it's getting difficult to come up with a winner here, so let's go for a bonus question. Let's ask for an extra hard question that is difficult for LLMs to answer, and I'm going to ask ChatGPT again to generate that question. First, it generated a classic puzzle here that I don't want to use because if it's found on the internet, then the models will probably know about it. So let's try a completely new logic question, and ChatGPT came up with this one. In short, you have 10 compartments, 11 items, you need to put them in the compartments so that no adjacent compartments have items with the same letter. I'm going to ask this to Gemini and also Claude, and let's see how they solve this. So here things got quite interesting. So Gemini correctly said that this is not possible, and the reason is, if you look at the question, the first part says that there are 10 compartments each capable of holding one item and you have 11 unique items and you need to place each item into a compartment. So we don't even need to read the rest of the question, we know right here that this is not possible to do. Now Gemini correctly highlighted this in its reasoning explanations here, saying that the core issue is that you have more items than compartments. However, the second reasoning step here was incorrect saying that the multiple items will lead to adjacent compartments containing items starting with the same letter, which is not really true. Now, Cloud concludes that this task is possible and it gives some weird explanations here. For example, it says that the worst case scenario is all items starting with different letters. And then it also says that having the same letter makes the problem easier. So he got that completely backwards. And by the way, if you're curious what ChatGPT says about this problem, I asked it what the correct answer is, and it also incorrectly concluded that it is possible to solve the task even though it knows that there are only 10 compartments. So it seems that everyone got a little confused with this problem, and it seems to me that Gemini gave the best answer, and I'm inclined to give it a point here, but perhaps we should call this one a tie, and therefore the overall comparison is a tie. Now I should mention that there are a lot of capabilities that I did not test. So Cloud 3.5 was tested in academic benchmarks and found to achieve state-of-the-art in a lot of tasks, so it's possible that if we kept pushing these uh, models that 3.5 Sonnet would come up on top. There are also some impressive demos here on the Anthropic website of vision capabilities, for example, converting images and graphs into JSON, and also a new feature called Artifacts, where you can store any artifacts generated by Cloud in memory and then we can reuse them later. So really impressive stuff and I'm personally probably going to be using both Gemini Advanced and Cloud 3.5 Sonnet. Now I would be remiss if I didn't mention that 3.5 Sonnet is also available on the Google Cloud platform in the Vertex AI model garden and you can find sample API and Python SDK usage in there. And that's it for this video and let me know what you think.